it is 6.41 right now. Uh, my alarm actually went off at 6.30, but I am so tired that I just laid in bed for 11 minutes. Ugh, I hate my morning voice. Anyways, the last time I did one of these vlogging things, um, people were really interested in it, so I thought that I would try to do another one of my day today. Okay, this part of the vlog I think is gonna be a little funny, um, but last time I posted, I had somebody ask me how I did my makeup so quickly. Um, I do my makeup the same way, like, every single time, so I don't know if I just got fast at it, but I just thought I would um, do it, so. I always joke um, that when I die, I do not care how people do my makeup. I just want to make certain that they draw on my eyebrows. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is raining outside, so I'm actually going to put my hair up. But I just wanted to straighten it to kind of get out some of that poof. Do, do you want to be in my my vlog? No. I'm really not that good at um this holding my camera and filming things. But anyways, today is I didn't even tell y'all because I'm just so tired right now. I'm always tired. That's not like a surprise. If <laughs> you ever see, the more I do these vlogs or vlogs or whatever they're called, the more I'm just gonna be like I'm tired. Because I think that that is um. A symptom of being a funeral director I think that you're just always tired so anyways today is Tuesday I think oh god bad angles okay Woo. hold on hold on okay so today I was not on call last night, so um, if we did not get a new death call in the middle of the night, um, then today is actually going to be a very easy day. Uh, what I mean by that is this morning we have a funeral that I am going to the funeral home to get ready right now. Let's see, it's 7 12. So basically, we have a funeral then, and then after that funeral, we have a visitation. So those are the only two things going on at the funeral home today. I don't have any arrangement meetings, like I was saying, unless somebody had passed away. So um, as soon as I get into the funeral home and I talk with the owner and my associate, I will be able to find out if something happened overnight. I think I start every day off with Tim Hortons. So guess where we are right now. It is 7.31 right now. I just got to the funeral home. I am very early over here. I always try to get um, to work earlier just because I hate rushing and hate running around. Um, so like I was kind of saying before, today's services should be very, very, very simple. Um, we have a funeral going out at 10 a.m. It is a symbol at church, however, minus the immediate family. So we really don't have a ton of people coming to the funeral home. So basically, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna turn on all the lights, I'm gonna make certain that the body doesn't need any cosmetic um, updates or anything like that. I don't know if you can hear it. My associate, Keith, who was in my last vlog, always leaves music on for the people who are at our funeral home. Um, and the person today is a veteran, so he is on veteran music. I kind of think that that's a cute little extra. Nobody knows about it just because it's when no one is here, but um, it's kind of nice. I think that he does that. One thing that I like about getting to work early is um, that I can just take some time and go over paperwork and just make certain that everything is kind of organized and um, kind of go at my own speed because so many things related to funerals are like 
hurry, 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 work on a deadline, um, that it's sometimes nice to just get in before other people do to take care of stuff that I gotta take care of without anybody necessarily like talking to me or asking me questions and stuff like that. What time is it? 9.20 right now. Time for prayers. <laughs> Okay, so it is 9.37 right now, and Keith and I are um, in his car. We're on the way to the church. Uh, Keith just put all the flowers for this funeral in. Are you taking a video of me taking a video? <laughs> um, he just put all the flowers in his car, so when we get to the church, we are going to unload them. When I say we, I really mean Keith is going to unload them and place them by the altar. And what else? That's it. Um, we'll line up the cars, even though we really don't need to because everything ends at the church and make certain that everything over there is good. So by the time the other funeral director arrives with the family, everything is done. Okay, 10.06. Um, mass just started and oh, look at my hair because it's so humid outside. Um, that's why we put it back today. Uh, the mass just started, so we just took the casket up to the front. It's a Catholic mass. Uh, we helped the family place the pall on it, and now once again, we are going to be hiding for about an hour until the services here are done. Once they're done, we are going to be taking the casket, processing out, and doing the final disposition. Okay, it is 11.03 right now. The mass just ended. Keith and I are on our way back to the funeral home. The person uh, that we have the mass for today is actually going to be cremated, so the other director is going to be taking them to the crematory, and Keith is going to be getting a death certificate. <laughs> You're running into issues again with these death certificates. Um, so he's going to be trying to track down another doctor in order to take care of that. And then I am going to be heading to um, a different location, funeral home that we have, because we have two different locations, to just make certain that everything is set up for the visitation that is going to be starting over there in a couple of hours. Okay, it is 11.30 right now and I am back in my car. I am actually on my way to pick up prayer cards from our printer. We sometimes customize cards for families if they'd like where we can put the picture of their loved one on one end and then we put whatever sort of poem or prayer they want on the other end and uh, we work with a printer in our area because they just have a really high quality and a really they do a really nice job with them so I... I'm actually on my way to pick those up first and then I am going to be heading to our other location to make certain everything is good over there for the visitation. So it is 12.20 right now. I just got to the funeral home. Just got into the funeral home, did a quick look around, made sure everything was clean, which it is. Um, the person that we're having the visitation for looks really good and that's all set up. So now just wait for the family to come in and when they come in, help them set pictures and poster boards and things like that. It is 1.31 right now. Um, the family is all in. They are all settled. I am walking to my car and I am going home. You guys saw me do my hair in the beginning of this video, right? I'm telling you, this weather and this rain is just, ugh, not good for hair. Um, but yeah, anyways, I am going home. I am going to rest up. Um, there are some days like today where I get to go home at 1.30, 2 o'clock, 2.30. Um, it just all kind of depends. And if the funeral home is ever quiet and if it is ever, like for instance, this family is all in, they're all taken care of, everything is all set, I take advantage of the time that I have because obviously you guys saw in my last vlog, I never know what my day to day is going to be looking like. I don't have days off. I don't have scheduled like every other weekends. Basically, I work when we're busy and it just seems like the funeral home is always busy. So that's one thing that I learned very early on is take advantage of the time that you have. Don't feel guilty about the time because you never know what tomorrow brings. I think what I'm planning on doing is continuing this blog 
for tomorrow to kind of walk you guys through and show you um, my morning with this family and the funeral services and everything like that. 6.55 a.m. Um, on Wednesday. The bags under the eyes are getting a little bit uh, bigger because this is one of the days where I woke up and not having a day off in a while is catching up to me. Alexa, what's the temperature like today? Right now, it's 51 degrees. Today, expect a high of 75 degrees. Hey, it is 7.26 right now. I am on my way first and foremost to Tim Hortons to get myself a green tea. And then I am heading over to the funeral home uh, to make certain that everything is okay and situated for this morning's funeral. If nobody else passed away tonight, um, this funeral is the only thing that we have going on this morning. Um, and then afterwards, I can go back to the funeral home and I can do some billing that I have to do. And then I forgot I have a doctor's appointment today. I tend to forget about things like that because I have to schedule them so far in advance and hope that I don't have to cancel because work is busy. But um, then I will go to that later on. Uh, like I was kind of saying before, I'm just so tired. Um, since I do not have scheduled days off, I don't have every other weekend off. I basically just work when we're busy and when we're not, I don't, but we are always busy. Um, I am funeral director, office manager, secretary, billing department. I am everything. So, um, even if we are not busy at the funeral home, there's always paperwork and things for me to do. So that is kind of what is on my schedule today. Obviously, I'm on my way to the funeral home now, so when I talk with the other director, I will be able to see if anything happened in the middle of the night, and if it does, my schedule will adjust accordingly. I don't know why I spend a dollar whatever on a green tea from Tim Hortons every single morning. I have no idea what they do differently because I swear they don't it's a tea bag and hot water but it is so good so Tim Hortons do you want to sponsor a funeral director vlog and give me a green tea every morning because that would be great 747 I'm at the funeral home I'm just eating my bagel in my car because I'm the first one here and then once I'm done with this I'm going to walk inside. I'm going to make certain that everything with the body is okay to make certain I don't have to do any cosmetic updates or anything like that. Turn on the lights, see if there are any notes from uh, my closer who closed up the visitation last night, and basically wait for the family. And once the family gets in, we'll park their cars, and then um, about a half an hour before the Mass today, it's another Catholic service, we will say some prayers here at the funeral home, then we will ride in procession to the church. Okay, 10.09, we just got everybody into church. Um, they're doing some like construction or something, so it's very loud right over here, but basically we just got everybody into church, we just parked the cars, um, took the casket up, put the paw on, everything like that, so once again, we wait for about an hour. It's 11.26 right now. We just arrived to the cemetery. The family is in the chapel right now um, where the priest is saying the final prayers. Then they're gonna have military honors because this person is a veteran. And then once everything is completed there, we will put their loved one in the hearse and take them directly over to the gravesite where we will do the burial. Okay, 11.56. We're at the gravesite now. We finally had all the prayers and military honors and everything is done. So um, the casket is in the ground and we are just waiting for the vault company, which they're working right now, to put the lid of the vault on the casket. Keith is beeping at me because he is making fun of me for doing these videos. <laughs> Um, now, in New York State, which is where I live and where I am licensed, there's no law that says you have to have a vault, which is the concrete box, but the cemetery that we're in now is a traditional cemetery, and they do require families to purchase them. So that is why I'm just waiting until they finish everything, and then we'll be done with the service. Okay, so everything is now done at the cemetery and we're done with these services for the day So this is my uncle who's the hearse driver now. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end this vlog here because Once again, it's just me basically talking to my cell phone telling y'all what I'm doing But if you like this video, you can always give it a thumbs up 
or you can leave a comment if you'd like and subscribe and we will see you all next time.